resorts in Portugal. She joins us from Cascais in Greater Lisbon. It's so great to see you, Chitra. You were on this programme, what, about two weeks ago when Portugal was opening up to Britain. You said you had dreamt, dreamed of that day. How yes. do you feel today, though? Um, I feel disappointed, although uh, I did mention in that program that, um, you know, if everything goes according to plan, and I hope everything goes according to plan for the rest of the season, that's what I meant. Um, you know, it was uh, bound to happen, um, sort of a, this roller coaster ride, which is very difficult to handle from our side. And uh, we're left uh, wondering, uh, you know, what has happened as well, because. Uh, you know, the number of cases, uh, yes, they say in, in the UK that it's doubled, but, you know, the basis is important too. You know, we're at 66 uh, new cases uh, per 100,000 in the last 14 days. Um, but, you know, uh, we've had a great half term, lots of uh, British families uh, in, in our resort. So, um, and they're still here. They're in the last days right. of their... <laughs> <laughs> they better hurry back. <laughs> they could well, get back they, by next they, Tuesday. Uh, half, half term ends this weekend, okay. so they're getting back, I think, by Sunday. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all happy they came <laughs> when they did. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, disappointing, yes, but James Chitra, and Laura. Yep. But Chitra, how's it going to work? Because the UK government is reviewing this list every three weeks, but people want to plan their summer holidays, and yet, yep. as it is, they'd have to quarantine. So isn't that going to really hurt you? It has already hurt us. I mean, we've uh, faced an afternoon in our reservation center. Uh, you know, uh, the reservations team has had more than 50 phone calls, you know, not counting the emails uh, requesting cancellations. Um, you know, at least till the end of June. Uh, it's very difficult to run a business uh, in this environment um, in terms of uh, staffing, uh, opening restaurants and the hotels, uh, you know, etc. Um, and I think it's also difficult for the customers, the, the, the guests, you know, how, when do they book their flights? It's difficult for the airlines who've just laid on, you know, uh, there's 400 flights per week in June and 500 flights per week in July. And, and the travel companies, I mean, the travel agents uh, in, in the UK, tour operators who have no place uh, to send um, guests at the moment, <laughs> except Iceland, um, the Falkland Islands and yeah. Sancho. So it's a very complex situation, uh, you know, but we're hopeful, you can't lose hope. And, you know, we're vaccinating at an amazing rate and uh, we're doing everything to keep cases low, uh, wearing masks and, you know, being careful, disinfecting, we're still following lots of rules. Of course, but of course you must understand that in a global pandemic, travel is, is a real problem. When cases are rising in Portugal and here in the UK, they've been rising as well. Isn't it just simply safer for everybody to stay put? Well, if we want to kill off uh, more than 20% of the economy, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's it's a question of balance. And, you know, they've come up with these rules um, to protect, uh, you know, uh, the different countries and societies. We're getting travel still from the rest of Europe and it's considered safe. Uh, in fact, Switzerland and Austria, uh, Austria have um, taken Britain off the list, but, you know, still include Portugal. So. I, uh, it's all a question of balance, and I understand uh, the reasons, but I think the inconsistency uh, uh, might be a bit more difficult to understand, uh, James and Laura. Chitra, sir, thank you so much, and we look forward to speaking to you again when there are guests actually behind you, whenever that might be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Laura Chitra was mentioning some of those countries on the green list. There are a few more territories. Tristan de Cunha, Ascension Island, St. Helena.